What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. Let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, Vanquish Products has another new release on a Monday, just in time for the Scale News Update. This time, it's the F10 Portal Knuckles. The F10 Portals originally came underneath of the VS410 Phoenix Portal and are also available separately. But now you can get aluminum knuckles for those. It's both the portal box and the cover, both sides as you would expect, and those are available now. So you can go check those out. Those are available in both a clear anodized aluminum and a black anodized aluminum. 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 Alum. Mondays, man. Go check out the website if you're in need of some aluminum knuckles. Next, new from ProLine is the 1.0 SCX24 sized pre-mounted trenchers. Uh, we saw a preview of the trenchers a while back in the 1.0 size, and now they are available in a pre-mounted option. So if you're looking for some more 124 scale tire options, there is no shortage, but add another one to your list. Currently available, currently available as a pre-order item, but I don't suspect that that will take all that long before they are fully available. Next from ProLine, they had teased a new Mickey Thompson coming out and it's fully released now. This is the new Baja Pro X in a 1.9. I believe they released this in a 2.2 not that long ago, but this 1.9, a little bit different. This one, 4.85 inches tall. So it's slightly outside of the spec of what is class two legal. And so many tires are based around that spec for the small percentage of people that truly compete. Not all that many people are really competing. And it's just, you know, it is adopted so that a lot of tires, you know, if they are a good tire for competition, they can be used. But ProLine decided to just go a little bit bigger and make a tire that's so a lot of people will just ask, what's the tallest tire I can get? I don't see anything wrong with that choice. It makes sense. There's going to be a lot of buyers for it, not just for the Pro X tread pattern, which is a very aggressive and some people will really like that, but just because it's a little bit taller. So cool to see that available in both Predator and G8 compounds. So depending on which works best or for where you live, which one you prefer, couple of different options for you already. I've linked to them in the description below and some links below are affiliate links. So if you feel like supporting the Scale News Update without actually handing me money, good way to do it. Not all of them are. If you click through the links though, maybe it works out every once in a while for me. And I put that little statement in after the tire one because the next one we're talking about is the new ProLine SCX6 body. <laughs> and this, well, I don't think that there's gonna be as many buyers as there was for that Pro X. Now, I thought that this was a blazer body in the uh, teaser ones that they posted. I swear that I read that in the hashtags. Maybe they're just trolling me. They're throwing it in on the hashtags knowing I would fall for it. Uh, but the new blit not met with a lot of fanfare from the commenters around the internet. The proportions of this do look a little bit odd. The window size is small and the, you know, the hip line of the body seems overly tall. It's hard to say if there was some things that they were having to work around like inner fender wells or things like that, that were forcing them to move proportions around and weren't able to correct them in other ways. But it kind of made this one six scale body where you have all this real estate to try and, you know, really play with things and make it look right. And it just, I don't think that it came out that great. And of course, that's my personal opinion, but it was also one that was shared around the internet a little bit. Not their best attempt. It's too bad. The SCX6 is such a cool platform. The size of it, driving experience of them is amazing. There's the new honcho body options. So if you're a big truck fan, at least you've got that. But I don't think that this K10 is gonna be the grand slam that it possibly could have been. Maybe on the next one or maybe you love it. I wanna thank Crawler Innovations for sponsoring this month's Scale News Update. You may know Crawler Innovations from their endless foam choices for just about everything you can think of, but they also have ones that maybe you didn't think of, like rally tires. Maybe you've got a rally car like the HPI WR8. Well, Crawler Innovations also has foams for those. These are available now. These are a wide foam because they're meant to be cut to the width of whatever tire you may be using, whether it be a stock replacement tire or an aftermarket tire, you can trim this foam to the width you need specifically for those tires. 
Just goes to show you, if you've got a car that you're looking to improve the performance of a little bit, go shop around on the Crawler Innovations website. Maybe you'll find something for it. Thanks again to Crawler Innovations. And if you're shopping over there, use the code HARLEY10, save yourself 10% on anything you're ordering. Thanks again, Crawler Innovations, for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Jumping back to the 1.6 scale stuff though, J Concepts looks like they've got some tusks coming out for the SCX6 platform. These were spied out in uh, Georgia over the weekend at one of the events over there. J Concepts in Florida, obviously not too far away, showing these things off. Nothing official yet, nothing popping up on our social media, just a couple of photos that were taken out at an event. Thanks to one of you guys who sent me a message with that. I always appreciate those little heads up. Always nice to get them, makes my job a little bit easier. Speaking of J Concepts though, this one isn't totally scale, but maybe you're familiar with the Traxxas Sledge. Well, they released a new body for the Traxxas Sledge. The Sledge is already kind of like that, you know, buggy basher type of thing, but J Concepts took a little bit of a different approach with it and came up with this new body thing. I mean, they added a grill to keep it scale, but this grill, it looks like they put like an eight scale nitro buggy bot, just like, and they just, nailed on a grill on the front. It's an interesting one. Uh, you know, the basher community though, not necessarily looking for absolute scale accuracy. So this one's definitely a different look. So I can appreciate that. Not the, not the weirdest thing we've seen from them. So, you know, par, it's on par. This week, Horizon is advertising some more deals going on. This time, they're called spooky deals. Good through the end of the month. There are some good deals to be had over there. I currently have the SMT-10 Monster Truck, the Gravedigger RTR, on sale for $209. Super cheap there. Use the code SPOOKY for any of the deals on the page that's linked below. There's also a Super Rock Ray on the one six scale independent front suspension, you know, rock buggy style on sale. It is listed at 674 down from 900. So a pretty good deal there also. Check those out. There's a bunch of different cars, planes, trucks, chargers, etc. I've got my eye on the carbon cub. I don't know why. Over the last few weeks, Biddy Designs has been teasing that they've got some new Viper bodies coming out. One for the 1 10th scale drag scene and one for the 1 7th scale Armas. Well, they released the 1 10th scale drag version this week and it looks fantastic. I'm a huge Viper fan and I think they did a fantastic job with this one. And I can't wait to see what they do with the 1 7th scale. I always like to see all the different body options for the 1 7th scale Armas. It's just such a cool platform and there's so many great looking body options, many of them from Biddy Design. So, so check this one out if you're looking for a 110 scale drag body possibly, but if you're looking for the 17 scale, I think that's another week out, like four days at this point when I, while I'm filming this at least. The FMS Max Smasher was released Monday. This is basically the same as the FCX24, but with monster truck tires and a monster truck Bigfoot-esque you know, old school Ford body on it. Uh, you have to apply some decals, things like that. There was a couple of good reviews. Matt did one. I'll try to put a link to that in the description below. So if you're looking for a 124 scale monster truck, it does have portals still, but at least comes out of the box complete. So if you're interested in picking up something new there, those are available now. Next, a brand that we don't talk about very often at all, and that's King Kong RC. They are showing off this new prototype of what is, I believe these are called a Sherp. They're the full size version is called a Sherp. I think they're Russian built, but King Kong is making a, not an, an unsure exactly of the scale at this point, but a really good looking version of that. There is some like custom made ones that you can get They're you know, low production uh, previously, but it looks like this one going to be possibly more available. King Kong RC, they make some like not really military, but kind of like old school truck type stuff, hauler stuff. In, you know, you don't see them widely distributed or anything like that. I think you mainly see them sold through eBay in the United States, but this could be a cool one. The photos look good. They painted it up a little bit different. If this kit's much more reasonably priced than like the low production ones that you could previously get, I could see a number of people being persuaded to pick it up. Currently, this still looks like a coming soon item. No prices or details have been posted at this point, but I'll keep my eye on it. When it does become available, I'll let you know. Furitech recently released a 1 10th scale titanium cage for the axial rift. 
we normally see FuryTech releasing 124 scale stuff. They have released some 110 scale ESC and motor things here recently, but this is the first time we've seen them release a 110 scale chassis. And this one again does say it's titanium. It does look like it's kind of like a solid rod with some fuse welding. I don't think that's going to be at the level of like a super nice custom built cage. It looks pretty production, you know, volume as far as quality goes, but it could still be interesting. It's hard to say. I mean, if you love titanium, I know I do. Uh, it could be a lightweight and strong option as long as it's built well. 300 bucks. And that's actually really cheap for titanium. If this thing's done well at all, it's a pretty good deal. Last weekend was the WRCCA Nationals. It's like the competitive RC rock crawling nationals that are not scale. Those happened last weekend and I was supposed to be there. But Nicole and I both got pretty sick uh, last week and we were both down for most of the week and it ended up having to cancel my trip. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it. I didn't get to run the new trucks that I built and I was super, super disappointed about that. I can't remember if I've ever had to miss an event like that because of something popping up like that before. Uh, so I was really bummed. Definitely means that I'm gonna have to get both trucks out on the rocks here locally, do some video on them and just get to enjoy them. I still have to put out the initial video even on the deluxe Capra Sporty that I built using the Asylum kit. Either way, super bummed that I didn't get to make it. I hope those that did go had a great time and I'm sorry I missed you all down there. This week, live stream takeover, same time as always, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll be talking as we start dialing in in our last week to get our monthly mayhem builds finished up. My monthly mayhem stuff is surrounded. Everywhere that's outside of the edge of the camera is covered with monthly mayhem items and activities. That's going to come out not this Thursday, but the following. So it gives us a few days to edit after the end of the competition, which is October 31st. You'll see videos from all eight of us who are competing. Everybody is still in it at this point. N nobody knows what anybody's doing. It's all secret. We're all just gonna release our videos at the same time and see what it is. However, there is going to be a popular vote on people's choice this week. It's gonna be hosted on the Vanquish Instagram on the stories, so you can go on there, vote. It's probably gonna be bracket style. Since there's eight people, we're gonna to have to narrow it down, get to the winner. If you have Instagram, watch for those stories to pop up with the competitors. Really looking forward to seeing what everybody did for this challenge. Should be so fun. But that's gonna do it for this week's news topics. For this week's question segment, last week we talked about when was the last time you tried something new in RC? Seeing how much you guys are, you know, going up, branching out, getting outside of your comfort zone, doing something new. I'm not one to talk. I don't do it very often. I think some of the most interesting comments were from people who were just getting in in the first place. Always glad to see more people entering the hobby. For this week's question though, I want to know what really makes you decide if you're going to buy something or not. Is it just straight up, it's got to be in the price range, or does it have to be exactly what you want? Are you super picky? And if it doesn't have that one thing that you really want, you're, you're out. Or is it, you know, brand loyalty? Is it just collecting all of the options? What is it? I don't know. No matter if it's RC or just something you collect in general, I'd like to hear it. As always, Appreciate you guys watching Skin News Update every Tuesday. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. We'll see you guys on the next one.